and welcome to Mickey Art. My name is Michelle Edhouse and I'm painting, pouring paint in fact. Uh, oddly enough if you know my channel that is quite usual for me. In the last video, in fact yesterday, uh, you will have seen me pouring a beautiful green and blue and yellow other earth kind of looking thing and this is what I managed to catch the dribbles except for a few see on the side there I got some on the table but most of it went into my little boat container and um, so I'm gonna be using that up today I've also got what was what didn't come out of the pot let's see if we can get anything else out of there and then I'm going to rewash that and use it again sometime. It's got a hole in the bottom of it, so it made it really easy. If you didn't see that video, it'll be linked in the end card. Um, so, first thing we need to do is we need to seal up the hole in the centre of the record. And I always do that with... A bit of sticky tape just so that the paint doesn't pour through the middle now I've been wondering what am I going to do with this and I thought uh -huh. sorry Elvis impersonation it's an Elvis record but as you can see it's absolutely shot um, so what I thought I would do is um, there's no silicon in any of this paint here and there is also not enough paint there to do the whole record so what we're going to do is we're going to flick some paint uh, flick some silicon well there might be a little bit of silicon in there I know so there's none um, I'm just putting a little bit of my silicon on my finger and flicking it into the pot just to spread it around a bit. I use Durex Play Perfect Glide, which is 100% dimethicone. You can find it in the condom aisle uh, or on my Amazon affiliate link shop. That the link is in the description below. So most of this is green there is some blue and yellow separated out uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add some more and I'm just going to add the paints that I'm putting in as a drizzle stick so just so that was cerulean blue this is the meadow green Um, there's like no yellow left really because I used it up but let's see what we can get in there but I'm also going to add some white and some Payne's grey now those of you that aren't familiar with Payne's Grey, it's kind of a blue-black. Well, it's not kind of a blue-black. It is a blue-black. And then I'm going to go around again. Oops, that was a bit of a big blob. So, one of the things with acrylic pouring... That I really really love is the utter randomness of it and you really have no idea what's going to come out in the end and you don't need to know that's the cool thing It doesn't have to have purpose, it doesn't have to have a 
initial image. Just a little bit more of each colour. Okay, so we've got that. Let me show you up close and personal what that looks like. And I can get the clarity. There we go. Check it out. So the next step that I'm going to do on this piece is I'm going to grab some of my background paint. My blank space paint, whatever you want to call it. Um, oops, I just put the paint's grey lid on the white. That was not a good idea. <laughs> Let's put the white lid on the white and the paint's grey lid on the paint's grey. Here we go. Close those up. I need to have a big mixing session. I have so run out of mixed paints. That's okay. So in this big container, I have, um, as you can see written on the top there, it says spring. And that's because I use spring house paint as my, um, as my paint. There's been a few people asking recently which one I use. And this is what it is. It's spring interior exterior semi-gloss acrylic. Now, if you are in the States, they tend to call acrylic house paint latex paint. So that's what you're looking for, latex paint. Um, and now all my paints I mix using Floetrol and water. Um, doo -doo -doo. Now I think that spring paint is only available in New Zealand. Correct me if I'm wrong, I'd love to hear from you if you are in another country other than Australia and New Zealand that sells that stuff. That would be cool to know. Um, so I mix all my colours with Floetrol and water. My house paint though, I also add some PVA glue, white glue, polyvinyl acetate, whatever you want to call it. Um, just because I found that it was cracking and separating and going a bit weird um, when you thin it down enough to do um, a painting like this on it. So it's just, um, I'm just going to spread that round a bit. And then I'm going to do a ribbon pour. Check that out. How cool is that? I like it. I'm just going to scrape the rest of the paint out just so that we're not wasting any. And so that I'm not washing too much down the sink as well. Because if you know, if you follow my channel, you'll know that I do a lot of reusing of containers i don't have brand spanking new throwaway containers for every painting uh, i like to um i like to have it so that it's um you know slightly eco-friendly <laughs> if you know what i mean You know, re recycling old records, recycling the containers, recycling, reusing, reusing, reusing until you can't reuse it no more and then pop it in the recycling. That's my target. All right, let's just zoom back out a bit. 
so you can see the whole piece and we do have some silicon spots showing up and some bleeding into the white which is super cool let's see what else we can entice up just by running the butane torch around not close enough that the flame touches the paint but close enough to move the air on top of it warm the paint so that the silicon can rise up pop in the air bubbles and you'll see how I'm keeping it moving at all times I'm not focusing on any one spot and again I've got I've got silicon in there but I'm not getting a lot of cells just yet but that's okay it looks funky as it is don't need cells you know guys cells are cool and all but you don't need them um, I'm just looking at the amount of paint I might just put a little bit more because if I if I stretch that out as it is I'm gonna lose some of this outer rim so I'm just gonna put a little bit more of our house paint and what that will do is allow it will be that buffer I'm gonna get my my boat back it'll be the buffer that will um, the cool colored paint rolls over top of and um, doesn't then roll away And then we can reuse that. Turn around and do it again. Might be a slow process. cool thing is not wasting anything There we go. So we've now got it all the way around. And it kind of has that kuru look about it, doesn't it? Kuru being spiral, um, similar to a fiddlehead, or it is a fiddlehead really. Some people call it a fiddlehead. Here in New Zealand, we call it a kuru. Uh, that's the Maori name for. For an unfurling fern um, and that that similar shape that that has so let's just give it I think we're getting low on gas on that one so it's yeah that sounds a lot better
I like that. It's pretty full on, but it's like the the merging of the land and the sea and the clouds and just rebirthing of new life and ah, so yummy, 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 yummy. I keep wanting to touch it with a bit more paint where those white bits are, but I'm like paintings go no don't touch me <laughs> do you guys talk to your paintings i do if you didn't know that already i talk to them out loud but i also ask them questions about what they would like to be what they would like to have as a possibility in their world um and as i ask that question like ideas pop up in my, my head and not all of them are fantastic <laughs> but some of them go yeah that sounds great let's do that so the one that's just popped up in my head is to let's show you down in here see how that edge just there it's kind of a bit silicony looking. I would like this edge here to do that as well. So I promise I'll remember to pull back. If I don't yell at me, I'll and I'll pull back. So I'm just gonna dip the end of this toothpick, which I've broken the end off, so it's oh come on, focus. It's not going to focus, is it? I've broken the end off so it's not so big. And I'm just going to drag it with the silicon on around that edge. And then let's see if that does any silicony kind of let's see if it does anything it's really what i'm trying to do i'm playing guys i'm playing did that actually do anything i don't think it did so i'm just gonna No. Oh, actually, it did down here. Let me move this camera down. Kind of did down there. Just wanted a little bit more movement. It was looking really stale and stuck there. Um. And I also want a little bit more movement in there. I think I'm going to stop. I really like it. I really like it. I really, really like it. She says, I'm going to stop and then fiddles again. Look at that. Didn't like that. <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. Now, somebody recently said to me, You don't have enough green cabochons. I'm just looking into this little boat. Let me move the camera over. Uh, it's a lot brighter than that, not colour wise, but it's okay. Oh, that's. 
tighten it up a bit. There we go. I'm quite liking what I'm seeing in there. And I'm quite inspired to do a rectangle. A rectangle dip, 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 dip. Someone out there is saying, what are you talking about? I haven't seen this thing before. What do you mean dip, dip? Well, a lot of people, when they've got leftover paint, they'll dry it out and make what's called an acrylic skin. And an acrylic skin, you can then use for all sorts of stuff. Me, I like to dip my... Um, one of the things you can use it for is to glue the skin onto the back of what's called a cabochon. And a cabochon is a chunk of glass. Well, a cabochon, technically, a cabochon is a cut of gemstone, which is rounded on one side and flat on the other. Uh, so you can buy glass cabochons like this one in lots of different shapes and sizes and they also come with backs to them and the way I do it is I instead of having to dry the, the skin and then remember that it's there and then cut it out and glue it on it's a, lots of steps of process I shortcut it <laughs> I find the bit in the paint that I really like I stick the cabochon to a bit of what we call blue tack um, which is kind of like poster putty so if you've got poster putty type stuff around um, and then stick that on a, onto a stick and dip it in the paint just like this watch 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 ready and what you see when you dip in is pretty much what you get when it's dry because you've just picked that up out of the pot and look at that I really like it so there we go and so what you do is you just turn it over and stick it down paint side down sometimes the back comes out really pretty too so I have techniques on dealing with that and you can just leave it there to dry once it's dry and cured so I recommend leaving them a couple of weeks for the um, acrylic paint to completely set and um, once it's dry and cured you can then either glue it into one of the backings or there's a whole heap of other funky cool things to do with them so and I've been exploring those and sharing them on my channel so have a look around on the other videos um, now what I'm showing you here when I zoom in <laughs> is now this is one of the tins I had my record sitting on and it got paint all over it and I really quite like this bit here so I'm going to take a round cabochon where are you there you go and dip that in and there we have A greeny, bluey, yellow cabochon. Sometimes what's left in the pot actually creates some of the most beautiful ones. So I always recommend that you um, pop your flame on it and see if you get any. any pretty stuff come up but there isn't enough silicon in this paint to do much so I think we're done we have two cabochons and a really cool looking record and I'm gonna leave them to dry 
and once they're dry I will share them with you which will be on Monday your time my time that's in three days <laughs> I adore you and so let's have a look at the dry result in three two one Ta -da! I really like this really really like it there's just something about it that just relaxes me reminds me of the joy of a healthy thriving planet I just noticed here the shape of a bird so the really cool tail <laughs> weird tail I don't think it'd be able to fly but I like that I'm just really pleased with this we've got the same thing happening as we had in yesterday's with the big oil slick in it so but the other really interesting thing I want to show you this look at this check this out you can actually if I can get see you can read Victor there now I was like I don't remember the label being raised but and when I turned it over where it says Victor isn't raised at all um but when i looked again i realized that they that are uh, what is it uh, rca is also raised and what i realized is that on this label it's not printed this is the color of the label and then it's got the like the light cut so so the paint has absorbed into the where there was no um, ink on the label and swollen that bit up and created this raised effect. Let me capture it again. I think that's super cool. So there you go. If you ever see somebody trying to imitate this painting, this is how you can tell it's real or fake. But the RCA and the Victor showing. <laughs> I just think it's cool if somebody goes to the trouble of trying to pour something like this trying to put, play it off as somebody like me who's got a video proof of how they made it and they get the right record and all that stuff they've done a great job that's all I can say um, I also really like these little edges that we created um, with that stick just but that's actually where a lot of that oil is sitting is where I added I went around with my toothpick and oil so Just super delicious. <sighs> so there we are. There we have it. I like it. I like it a lot. And I'm super grateful for you sticking with me throughout this video. I had fun. I like it. I I I enjoyed that. So um so today is Monday in New Zealand. It'll be late on Sunday in Europe and like passing over till Monday in the US you'll be seeing this Monday morning in the US um, so that will make it the 6th and I will be going live sometime in the next week so because I'm heading down to Wellington to teach a foundation class uh, and I'll be leaving on the 15th so it'll be before the 15th so if you want a heads up about when I'm going live so you can program your life around me <laughs> yeah that always makes me laugh when I say that um, then head on over to my website and sign up mickeyart.co.nz forward slash sign up for my mailing list I honestly only ever to this point I'm not going to say I will never use it for anything else but to this point I've only ever sent out, hey, we're going live. 
so head on over there and hit the subscribe button uh, if you don't want to be on my mailing list you can just make sure you've hit the subscribe button and turned on the notification bell and just know that at some point in the next week I will be going live so there you go all right guys what else did I create on this video I just remembered I nearly said goodbye I nearly did you nearly forgot and you nearly missed out some of you are yelling so hard I can hear you from the future um cabochons let's have a look at them let's see what we can see it's green there you go you got a green cabochon and there's the other one how's that i really like this one this one kind of looks like lilies or a snake it's kind of like a snake coming up with this tongue out what do you see there we go guys i have had fun i hope you have and i look forward to sharing the next painting which i will be painting i will have painted by the time you see this because <laughs> it needs to dry in time for wednesday so you will see the next painting on wednesday i adore you have fun and i will see you super super soon bye bye